everyone, welcome to my August beauty favourites and I've got bits and bobs to show you which are all my beauty and a, a few non-beauty favourites for the month of August. I've decided to add a little something extra to my monthly favourites now, so if you'd like to see that then please stay tuned till the end, but basically what I'm going to be doing is showing you one item that is a predicted beauty favourite for next month and that's something that I've not used all month round but something recently that I have found that I predict is going to be a winner and then I'm going to carry on using all throughout the next month and then let you know at the end of the next month whether or not it's a monthly favourite. So um, let's get started. The first thing I wanted to show you is a lip combination. Now in my lip product addict tag, I did say that I was a no girl for lip liner, <laughs> but I recently feel like I have been converted and I really am getting on board with them, obviously depending on what lipstick you're actually wearing. Um, what I've got is the Exaggerate Full Colour Lip Liner from Rimmel in East End Snob in conjunction with the Elf Moisturising Lipstick in wink pink now i'm when i bought this i actually bought it by accident because i meant to get pink minks and they were very very similar um, but when it came I, I was really really glad that i got it by accident um i'll just swatch it on my hand for you it's a lovely i think sort of natural neutral color for people that maybe don't want to wear a nude because they just feel that sort of concealer over nudey look doesn't really suit them um that's definitely me and also I feel like it's a great transition shade from summer to August. I feel the colour is, is just lovely. It's smack bang in the middle of air of, um, or, or leaning more on the autumnal side. But I, I really, really like the combination. And um, what I've done is I have, I'll swatch the liner for you as well. They just go beautifully together. I have um, just put a oh, lip balm on and um, not um, put any lip product on because I wanted to show you the combination together. Oh, so I'm just rubbing my lip butter off which actually was one of my other monthly favourites for this month and that's the Nivea lip butter in vanilla and macadamia this was on offer for lower than two pounds at Wilco's when I bought it and it is absolutely brilliant really really good possibly the best lip balm I've ever tried I think a bit scared of saying committing to that but I think it might be so oh, let's get on with this lip combo Okay, so this is the lip combo of the e.l.f. moisturising uh, lipstick and the Exaggerate Rimmel lip liner. I just really, really like it. Now, when I first tried the lipstick, I, I, to be honest, I wasn't sure if I liked it because it does feel very waxy and it took me a while to find what the word was for it. So I didn't want to report back to you till I found the word, but it does feel waxy and um, I wasn't sure of that was something I liked but I, as I've been wearing this I've realized that it's it really is moisturizing I don't know if it's just because it locks it in rather than actually has moisturizing emollients in it but on the days that I've worn this all day my lips at the end of the day do feel very soft so surely that's you know the um the desired effect and conclusion and result of a moisturizing lipstick so I really really like that um so those are my first two um favorite the lip balm and the combo lip combo and next is a me 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 shimmy shimmers in pink shimmer now you can see that i hit pan and then some on this product so i really really like it um and i don't know what it is about it i just it, you know when sometimes you think you love something but you just don't really reach for it this is the opposite i don't really think i love it but then i just always reach for it um the colors together are very very nice but they're not like hugely pigmented i just i really really like this blush and i use it as a blush for work because it's one of those where you don't have to sort of faff on making sure that you don't put too much on you can just load up your brush and slap it on it's got highlighter in there it's got all the pinky tones you can tailor your brush to the area where if you want a, a specific type of color because it has got quite a variation in there you can't really see all the colors that well now that i've hit pan so much it's really inexpensive as well um, I highly recommend that the next is a non-beauty favorite and that's Planet of the Apes now 
I watched it right at the end of July and I meant to put it in my July favourites but just forgot. So for August favourites I'd like to mention that I went to see the new Planet of the Apes film at the cinema and it was brilliant. I saw it in 3D. I wouldn't say 3D added much to it so if you've not seen it yet then um, you don't necessarily feel the need to invest in extra money to watch the 3D version but I really love the film. Definitely, definitely glad that I saw it at the cinema and didn't just wait to see it on DVD and actually my fiance has gone out and bought Rise of the Planets of the Apes which is the 2011 film um, which is in the same uh, set of films as the ones in the cinema now so I can't wait to see that. I haven't seen it yet, just thought I'd show that to you but um, the, right, the one that's at the cinema at the minute is excellent and well worth watching. Um, next I've got my candle from Ikea. Now they don't name them an Ikea, they just have a little picture and this was the one that had the picture of strawberries and raspberries on it. I'm not going to say much about that because I think I actually might have mentioned it before so do excuse me if I have but I absolutely love that candle and as you can see it's getting a lot of love. Um, and then next I've got my um, Body Shop Body Butter. Now this is fantastic when you've just shaved your legs. I generally just use it where I've shaved because it's so thick. So you could use it all over and maybe if I was being really luxurious I would but generally I tend to just put this on my legs before I go to bed sort of every other night and after and or after shaving. Uh, oh yes I also meant to mention in my July uh, favourites but forgot to mention and then I felt really guilty because it totally deserves it is my engagement ring. Now that I haven't mentioned yet as a favourite so I'd just like to say that is a favourite! Woohoo! Getting engaged and my engagement ring, definite favourite. Um, next I'm going to go on to nail care. Now I don't think I've mentioned any nail products in a little while but a massive favourite of mine through the summer um, and through the month of August has been Barry M in Coral. I absolutely love this. I think it definitely needs mentioning because I don't think I'm going to wear it um, for the rest of the year with the weather changing. I'm, I'm moving on to more autumnal colours so I need to give that the chance to be mentioned before summer ends because I have been using it all summer and I absolutely love it for summer. I actually think I got it last year and used it for loads of last summer as well. I've also been loving to transition in the seasons mink by number 17 and this is a lovely color if you struggle with any irritation on your hands sensitive hands and sort of get reddish tones and patches to your hands and this is a great color i really feel as though it tones that down and when i wear this i think it makes my hands look more youthful and less red so i think that's a great polish and that and they're both really inexpensive as well um, i also have a favorite of uh, sally hansen insta dry dries instantly so Sally Hanston dries instantly sorry top coat which is the clear bottle one and um, I've been using that for quite a while now and it's making my manicure really really shiny I've been really enjoying that it's been making it last and I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to carry on with that one and definitely repurchase it when it when it runs out um, this is unfortunately um, a fail so I don't often in my favourites mention it fail but I'm going to have to this time. I've given this a good try, I've used it once on my fingers, didn't actually like the colour so I tried it three times on my toes and it just rubs off, it's ridiculous, it doesn't even chip off, it just looks as though you've scuffed your nails. Now when, when I put it on my toes, I actually took my daughter swimming the following day, so I thought, oh, maybe it's the, you know, the bottom of the pool I get on my knees when I'm sort of saying to her in the, in the baby pool section. And um, it's called Going for Gold, but it's got this really disgusting sort of dirty green undertone to it. It, it doesn't come off, it, I mean, in the bottle there, it almost looks like, oh, that could be quite nice or could be someone's cup of tea, but on the nail, it just looks horrible. Um, I mean, I was tempted maybe to keep it for a Halloween, but I, I, I'm going to chuck this away. It, I hate it. It's really, really horrible. The bottle is somehow chipped as well, which you might think, well, it's glass. You know, how can glass, you know, be bad? But why have none of my other bottles of polish chipped? And this one has, even though it's only a couple of months old. Luckily, I got it free, so I'm not that gutted, but that's a definite fail. And... Um, the next thing I'm going to mention, which is the last thing in this month's beauty favourites, I always get scared about saying last thing because it, I'm always saying this is the last thing when it never is. This is the last thing for this month's beauty favourites and that was my daughter's birthday so that was a favourite. She turned two this month and we had a lovely party for her so that was a great 
great now uh, if you've made day. it this far well done and i'm going to show you a little sneak peek into next month's favorites and that's this Essence Colour and Go. Now I have brought two of them so far and I've only tried one and I've not even put them in, my, in a haul yet. But this colour is just absolutely stunning. I really, really, really love it. I mean it's got the Sally Hansen top coat on so it's not that shiny on its own. But I put this on and then I completely forgot that I'd had I'd got some stuff to do. And I don't usually paint my nails and then go straight into doing housework. But I put this on and then I did some washing up. I did wear gloves, but still that it tends to roll up on the ends because of the heat when I when I uh, do washing up uh, so soon after painting my nails. Then I bathed my daughter and obviously water etc and it just stayed like that I mean that's only been on for 24 hours so you know it's bound to sort of look perfect but I'm just so impressed for the price and I really feel with it being this colour as well and how much I love this colour I think this is going to be a next month's beauty favourite so I hope you enjoyed this video please thumbs up if you did thank you for su subscribing if you are and please subscribe if you're not I'd really appreciate that and it means that you don't miss any up and coming videos if you like my videos so take care and I'll see you in the next one